Oleg. The guys have just established come with a search and rescue. View here of the uh, Soyuz now visible in Kazakhstan, making its way to its landing site north of Arkalik. Thank you, Anton. That's great. Commander Dan Burbank and uh, his crewmates, flight engineers Anton Kaparov and Anatoly Ivanishin, just 10 minutes away from their landing now. This again is a uh, live view from Kazakhstan. I says that Anatoly must be real hungry right now. With the parachutes that are slowing the Soyuz down, easily visible on a clear day. Like you're not dying. Excellent weather was uh, predicted now. for the landing, and it looks like that has come through. Yeah, I, I can be patient for a little bit longer. Oh, look, this is Yuri. Thank you so much for the great work. Special thanks for helping us establish that the imitator is uh, fully functional, because we had some doubts about that. Thank you, Yuri. It's just that the diagram was unreadable. I tried to... Uh, get out at different angles on the computer and you know I couldn't really read any information about the mates and connectors yep could have used a little bit of enlargement say again yeah. thank you have a great mission thank you Yuri good luck be there in the foreground of one of the eight helicopters in the area to meet the Soyuz as it makes its descent to its landing site and coming up, as you can see, on that touchdown. It's just a few seconds away now. And the team here in the International Space Station Flight Control Room confirming that the Soyuz TMA-22 has touched down in Kazakhstan now at uh, 6.45 a.m. Central Time. That's at 2.45 p.m. Kazakhstan time. This brings to an end a 165 day in space for these three members of the Expedition 30 crew, Commander Dan Burbank and Flight Engineers Anton Shkaplerov and Anatoly Ivanishin. Anton, give him the corridor. And uh, you see the first of the crew members has uh, been removed from the Soyuz capsule. This is uh, Anton Shkaplerov, who was the commander of the Soyuz for its landing. He was seated in the center seat and as such was the first to be taken out. Next up, of course, will be uh, his crewmates, Anatoly Ivanishin and uh, Dan Burbank. They are uh, working actually to uh, uh, rotate the crew members into the proper orientation so that they can be uh, moved out of uh, their restraint straps and then gently pulled out of the hatchway. Uh, we're about to get the second of the three crew members out. Uh, this uh, process, whether the Soyuz lands upright or on its side, does take a, a few minutes to complete. But uh, they're working uh, methodically to extract the crew members and get them into their respective seats, the other two crew members, that is. Uh, typically, typically the um, left seater, uh, which would be Anatoly Ivanishin, would be the second one out. Uh, we'll see if that is the case uh, here. Sometimes uh, they reverse the order of the second and third crew members. There are it looks like what we're seeing. Up. And it is, in fact, Ivanishin, who is uh, pulled out of the Soyuz spacecraft, flashing a broad smile as he is put in his reclining chair, completing his first flight into space, as uh, did his Russian crewmate Anton Shkaplerov. So 
yet to come, Dan Burbank, and then the extraction of the crew will be complete. They'll have an opportunity uh, to spend a few minutes uh, in their reclining chairs, uh, getting their sea legs back, if you will, after uh, five and a half months of uh, weightlessness before they are hoisted in those chairs and carried about uh, 35, 40 yards away to an inflatable orange medical tent in which they will uh, be assisted in the removal of their, uh, their so-called launch and entry suits to get into more comfortable flight suits. They'll be placed into all-terrain vehicles and driven a short distance to their respective helicopters for the one-hour, 50-minute flight back to Kustanai, Kazakhstan, just south of the Russian border, for a short welcoming ceremony. Uh, Ivanishin and Shkaplerov will board a Gagarin Cosmonaut Training Center aircraft to be flown back to Chkotlovsky Airfield outside of Star City. There they will be reunited with their families, and they'll be met by top Russian space officials. Dan Burbank, meanwhile, will board a NASA jet that is sitting on the tarmac in Kustanai for the flight back to Houston. This seemed to be one of the most pinpoint, precise landings, according to what we were told a moment ago uh, before I went on the air. Uh, the spacecraft landed uh, almost exactly where it had been forecast to. Of course, uh, the search and recovery forces are tracking the Soyuz uh, through a beacon signal, uh, GPS receivers. Uh, they had uh, voice contact, and now applause comes up. Dan Burbank, now out of his and being carried uh, to his chair. We're going to walk over to see if we can get closer to him. Uh, he is in the process of uh, loosening uh, the helmet that uh, he wore during uh, the descent back to Earth. But uh, all three crew members now out of the Soyuz vehicle. Chief astronaut uh, Peggy Whitson uh, is uh, directly behind Burbank, asking him if he needs anything at the moment. Uh, Dr. Smith Johnston, his flight surgeon, and uh, Russian nurses are attending to Burbank as well. This is customary. They're placing a blanket over his legs. Uh, he'll have an opportunity to uh, refamiliarize himself uh, to the 1G environment here as uh, the moments move on before they're hoisted back into their medical tent, as I said, to get their flight suits off. And uh, now he's uh, about to receive congratulations from one of the head personnel for the Search and Recovery Forces, making sure if he needs anything. Uh, Burbank has uh, simply asked for a bottle of water uh, to wet his whistle, if you will. And uh, there's laughter abounding. Uh, he appears to be in, in very good shape indeed. And as you can see, the crew now uh, being moved into that medical tent again. They'll be able to there uh, get out of their spacesuits and uh, ready for their trip first back to Kustanai and then on uh, to their various homes. <laughs> Аккуратнее, ребята, аккуратнее. Колышек, смотрите.